Yo guys, Spotbot here, another Clash of Clans video. I got a couple of replays I'm going to show you. Uh, one is an attack and one, one or two, no, actually one defense because uh, I don't have replays available. Uh, when I'm recording this, it was uh, it was yesterday and uh, there was uh, there was a, an update to the game. So I think when they update the game, uh, you lose your replays. But um, I'm going to show you uh, what they what they sent out or what the update was about. Uh, boosts and bombs. Our birthday week ends with a bang. Resource collector boosting is permanently cheaper. Now I don't know exactly what it's at because my, uh, you know, I'm still boosting. I'm still getting boosted here. Um, with the, you know, I've got like one hour and ten minutes left, and it was only one gem. But even if it's cheaper, I, I won't boost my my uh, my gold mines of resort or uh, elixir collectors again unless it's like one gem. I mean, if it's one gem for a week, hell yeah. But, I mean, if it's going to be, like, 10 gems for, for 24 hours, then forget it. Uh, so, what else they, they said here is permanently cheaper, and that now lasts a full 24 hours, right? Instead of, I think it was, like, 6 hours before. But it's still going to be uh, relatively expensive on the gem side, and I'm not going to spend my gems on it. Giant bombs are now 60% cheaper and do more damage. So, that's that's a good... Uh, I like that one. I like that one. So, giant bombs used to be 50,000 gold. They're now only 20,000 gold, and I don't, um, you know, I haven't used one lately, so I don't know, you know, when they say it's going to be uh, more more damage. I mean, they do a pretty good pretty good damage as it is. They do take up, however, a 2x2 two two block, and I really don't have room in my base configuration as it sits right now um, in order to put those giant bombs unless I put them sort of on the outskirts of the base. But I don't like to do that because uh, you don't necessarily get a good concentration of troops uh, when you're defending like that, you know, let's say I put a bomb where, where this thing is, right? Uh, you know, people are going to put down, attackers are going to put down troops. They're not going to put down 10 all at the same time, right on top of the bomb, right? Typically. But if you put them further sort of inside your base, then uh, you're going to have a greater chance to hit more attacking troops. Now I did want to talk a little bit about uh, defensive setup here, uh, for my base. Now, you know, this is the, the setup that I have for Town Hall 7. And I think once I get Town Hall 8, I get 50 additional walls. So I'll really sort of expand down in this area where this mortar is. Uh, I'll probably expand and uh, build some more defensive units um, in the, in this area. And then move the rest of these, um, these structures down. If you look at the Town Hall 8 upgrade, and it's still going to be almost a month before I'm able to upgrade my, my Town Hall to level 8, I do have... You know, what, what you do end up getting, you get a, a elixir storage, a gold storage, which I won't build right away until I need it. Um, but I will definitely do it because I want to keep those, get those walls upgraded. 500,000 a piece, you're going to need a lot of storage. Uh, you get an archer tower, you get, like I said, the 50 additional walls, uh, the wizard tower, air defense, the hidden Tesla. So all those defensive uh, buildings, uh, I can't wait for the, um, for the dark elixir drill which is the first thing that's priority as soon as i get the town hall 8 that's what i'm going to uh to build right away so those additional structures i'll build them into the base i'll build the walls and and probably along the top area here where this cannon this cannon is it's being upgraded um i'll build some additional walls up in that upper level and uh really i've just sort of consolidated everything so you know in the middle i've got my town hall and what's most important to me is my gold Right, so my my elixir is a little bit farther out and a little bit easier to attack. But I need gold, especially when I'm upgrading the walls. I generally need gold a lot more than I need elixir. Uh, so I've never had the problem usually where I don't have enough elixir. It's it's yeah, I don't have enough gold because I'm upgrading my walls like crazy. Uh, and then centralizing, you know, the mortars because they have the longest range of attack for ground units centralizing them within the center of the base. I mean, this one's kind of out a little bit further, and I used to have it where my, my clan castle is, but you can see the clan castle has the biggest radius out of any of these structures, even bigger than the, um, than the mortars, right? So it covers the entire base, and uh, usually I want archers in there. I don't like having singular units in there because they can get taken out uh, a lot easier, in my opinion. Uh, I usually look for archers if I'm if I'm defending, um, but I haven't requested troops in in a while. Uh, the hidden Teslas I do have, um, sort of in the interior of the base as well. 
I love these things. They just they're just hiding and then they pop up. It's like zappy zap. Uh, the air defense again, sort of in a in a centralized location. Uh, they do have a you know it's a smaller range than the mortars, but it's still uh, a fairly significant range. And that's what usually uh, players attackers end up going toward to first, especially if they have you know like balloon attacks and and um, dragon attacks. They'll use uh, lightning spells or they'll bring in. Um, giants and uh, wall breakers to try and get to those uh, air defense air defense structures to take them out before they bring in their air units or even the healers right um, but now I, I'm gonna have two I'm upgrading this one this one will be upgraded to level five and it's like five days and five hours and then I still have to upgrade this one to level five so uh, we'll have some good defenses. And the thing I like about Town Hall 8 is that we're going to have an additional one. So there is going to be some reconfiguration taking place in the interior of my base. Um, I do have, you know, I do set up these, um, the spring traps as well as the smaller bombs. Um, and that, that definitely helps. I mean, especially when they send in giants. And from where I've seen a lot of the attacks coming from uh, are, are, you know, in this uh, bottom left portion... Uh, as well as over here, a lot of the attacks, and then I put some up here as well, um, up by the uh, the um, hidden Teslas, right? So I actually have some because that last defense, uh, they trip some of my traps. So I'm going to put uh, the rest of my bombs in here. So I usually put one there. And one up there. And then we'll just throw one up here. You just foot look for you know spots. It's good. It's only a one a one cell um, bomb, right? So it's pretty easy to find a spot for them. So I'm gonna put my spring trap here, and I think they only yeah they only trip that last attack. They only trip one, and then um, another good thing to always have is your uh, air bombs, and they're four thousand apiece. So I'll put one here, and. Put one right there. Okay. Uh, there are some some other ones that uh, you can put in. Like, um, again, the giant bomb, 20,000. Eh. I, I, again, I don't have a spot in my base for it. But now that it's 20,000, I think when I go to Town Hall 8, I will make spa uh, space for it. And I think do you get an extra one on Town Hall 8. But, I mean, we get le at least two right now. The Seeking Air Mine, again, I'm not spending my Dark Alexa at all unless it's on a Barbarian King upgrade or the Archer Queen upgrade. Um, either that or, you know, once I've upgraded, again, once I've upgraded the, the Barbarian King completely in Town Hall 7 and I'm still waiting for everything and I'm not going ready to go to Town Hall 8 and this is full, then, then I will start using it, okay? So not until then. And I do have some uh, some training upgrades available in the laboratory, but I probably won't do that. But you'll see, you'll probably see me at that point in time when that dark electro storage is full, and I can't upgrade this guy anymore on this town hall level. Then I will start um, training dark troops. Okay, so the minions, the hog riders, I'll start training training them uh, for use in attacks. Um, because the, the benefit is, the benefit of that is that, you know, I have four barracks, four regular barracks, right? And I have troops training in them, plus this, the dark barracks, right? So if I'm training troops across five barracks, it's just going to take less time for me to train my army, right? Okay, so let's take a look at the, these uh, two replays. The one is going to be a, the attack replay, and uh, again, it's very similar to what I was doing yesterday in yesterday's video. And it happened to be uh, uh, very early on. I, I don't think it was the first base that I looked at. But uh, you can see the town hall is on the outside of the base. And this base had about, I think, 355,000 gold available. Now, if you look, uh, they do have uh, a significant amount of gold in their storage. But there's no way I'm going to be able to get into the interior of the base, uh, especially with the, the way they have the defenses set up. Um, but they have these six gold mines that are down here by the town hall. So those are what I'm going to attack. I'm going to bring in some giants just to distract the defenses for a bit, bring in some wall breakers and send in my goblins in order to take as much gold as possible. What I didn't, uh, I, I sort of didn't focus on though, which I do end up doing a half decent job of, of getting a lot of, I mean, he had about 2,500 Dark Alexa available. 
and uh, you can see the Dark Elixir storage is at the very top of the base. I mean, it's very easy to get to, right? As well as his Dark Elixir drills. So I didn't even focus on that originally at the beginning of this attack. Um, and I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. So the archers are almost done. I send in the uh, the giants, the wall breakers, and then the uh, the goblins to take those, uh, those gold mines. And uh, he does have some defenses. So what I did here... Sorry, I should slow it down. What I ended up doing was uh, breaking some uh, another wall at the top left of the base to bring in my goblins from the other side so the uh, their clan castle troops wouldn't take them all out. So then I'm looking up at the top. I'm like, wait a minute. We still have these um, these Dark Elixir drills up at the top right of the base. So I'm like, well, geez, I still have like 20, 24 archers. So I bring in the archers. So they start taking out the uh, the Dark Elixir drills, but then the clan castle troops come over and the archers, you know, the archers end up going after them. That's, a, I mean, it's good in a way that they do go after them, but then I didn't really want them to in this scenario because they drew the archers away from the uh, the Dark Elixir uh, drills, unfortunately. Uh, but you'll see it, it's a, it ends up being a good thing because the archers end up going after the Dark Elixir storage which contained the most significant amount of Dark Elixir that we ended up collecting. So they're going to take out the uh, the army camp, and then there's another Dark Elixir drill there, and then the majority of the uh, the archers, as well as my lightning spells, are, uh, I only had one lightning spell actually, are taking out the Dark Elixir storage. And uh, we ended up getting a pretty good haul of, uh, of Dark Elixir. So that's, uh, that, that's basically the attack. I mean, it ends here. I end the battle. I mean, there's no point in... I didn't really have any other troops to, to send in. But, um... So we ended up winning. And uh, we got, you know, our 10 trophies out of it. Plus 2,483 Dark Alexa. So we're back up to 7,385. And we only need about another 10,000 in order to upgrade our Barbarian King once again to level 4. From level 3 to level 4. So let's take a look at that defense that I was talking about yesterday. Uh, again, these other replays aren't available, unfortunately. But you can see this guy, the 7-0-0. Seven, seven zero, zero. Uh, it's a revenge attack because I don't have revenge available, right? And look at the troops. I mean, he's got level 6 uh, giants, level 5 wall breakers, level 5 archers. Uh, you know, he's just bringing, he's just going to town with this stuff. He only has level 1 dragons for some reason. But level 4 uh, healing spell. And level four healer. So, and I don't even know what he brings in on the um, the clan castle troops because I haven't seen this replay before. I don't think. Uh, anyways, so let's take a look and see uh, how he attacks my base. So he goes in for the top left, and again, those giants, man, it's gonna, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna be able to take out those giants <laughs> with ease. I mean, level six giants, hell, what what's going on? Okay, so in his clan castle, clan castle troops. Were the uh, the archers and it looks like the dragon uh, or one dragon? That's not a level one dragon. I think that's a level three or four dragon. So yeah, I'm getting known here. Of course I'm getting known. I mean this guy is like town hall level ten probably in order to have those troops. Um, but again, when when I spoke yesterday about the revenge attacks, uh, when it's a revenge attack, you you tend to lose a lot of troops um, or a lot of trophies, I should say, right? Because I've gone from 1,200 trophies to 1,500 plus, um, you know, this guy had his town hall outside of his base, so he's been dropping trophies. He's probably had a lower, a lower uh, trophy count. And I thought the level 1 uh, dragons were green. So maybe that is... I don't know. That is a level one, level 1 dragon. But regardless, I mean, he runs me over. And as expected, I mean, when you play this game, you're going to get run over by higher level uh, attackers. And there's not much you can do about it, no matter how good your defenses are. But I would say in my defense that, um, you know, I'm currently upgrading four of my defensive structures. Uh, two cannons, the uh, the top right archer tower, as well as this uh, the second air defense. So, you know, it had those all not been uh, being upgraded at the time, I probably he probably still would have rolled over me. But I still would have put up a better defense than I did. So... That's it. That's it. I just wanted to go with uh, through with you that attack and that defense and uh, talk a little bit about base defense. So um, let me know what you guys uh, what you guys want in future videos, and uh, we'll be sure to bring that to you in future videos. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, that's it for now, guys. I'm Spider and I'm out.